Hi, I'm Doug Canning, professional shooter. What I want to show you now is how to do a speed reload. We use this type of technique in IPSC shooting and hopefully not in steel challenge shooting. Okay, now first off, we have different type of pouches that you'll be loading from. So whether you're doing a competition shot where you have single speed loaders on your belt or a single pouch, I'll use a pouch like this for Bianchi, so hopefully I'm not doing speed loads there, but I'm going to use this pouch to demonstrate because this will simulate just something you might carry around the range with extra magazines in it. But the technique of how to do it is still the same. It's just the speed that you do it in helps with the different type of pouches you may use. Okay, first and foremost, my gun's unloaded. Now, I start with a magazine in the gun because the first thing you need to do is punch the magazine release. Okay, so you're up. And what I do, it's a, it's a quick shift of the hand to the magazine release, just like that. See how I'm doing that? And, it, and I punch it at the same time. I'm just kind of doing it halfway to show you now. So I'm up, punch, let the magazine will drop, come to the next, come to your pouch, forefinger on the front of the magazine. I want to be looking into the magwell as I come up with the next magazine and insert it into the pistol. And then you're right back up to either acquire your sights or the target. Now, one thing that I'll do working on this at home while I'm dry firing, unloaded firearm, empty magazines. And you don't even have to do this standing up. Lots of times I'll just be sitting, watching TV, just doing this. Just working on this aspect, making it smooth, hitting the button, inserting the magazine, kind of breaking it into two segments. Then, when I'm doing my regular dry firing, I'll be up, punch, mag, in. Okay, up, punch, magazine, insert. Okay, let's do that with a magazine in it so you make sure that you're actually hitting the button hard enough. Up, punch, magazine, insert. And you want to do this right in front of your face here. You don't want to leave the gun out and try to do it. You don't have as much coordination on the speed load. Just bring it in because once you insert the magazine you have to readdress the target anyway. So it all becomes one move. The mag's in, it's seated, you're up and right on target. If you're trying to do it out here you're going to fumble with it and it ends up being slower than faster. You want to make sure you're looking at the mag well at the bottom of the gun, especially in the beginning. Especially in the beginning. Teaching yourself, it's that hand-eye and muscle memory that you want to teach yourself going through this fundamental. As you get better at it, you don't have to look at it. But it still helps to look at it. It takes a split second to glance at that gun and back up and in. You see how that works? Bang, and right up. Okay, I'm going to head to the truck and get some ammo and show you a drill that I use when I work on my speed reloading. Okay, now that we've gone over through our dry fire and we've done the speed reload working on the mag change, I'm now going to show you a drill that you can use on the range with a plate rack. And if you don't have steel, you can use paper. I love to shoot on steel, especially in training, because it gives me instant feedback, recognition of what's going on. So the first drill, what I like to do, draw, fire a shot, do a reload, fire another shot on the plate rack. Okay, and then I'll, I'll do that a few times, and then I like to incorporate the multiple shot, multiple target, draw three shots, reload three shots. It's a simple drill to do on a, on a plate rack with six plates. Okay, now the three shots. This is all practice. Sometimes you don't grab the mag right, 
Practice makes perfect. Okay, let's do that again. Try to do it right. So next time you go to the range, try this drill out. I guarantee with all the little things that you've been working on with this drill, it'll help you become a better shooter with your firearm. If you're looking for a place to shoot, Go to NSSF's website at wheretoshoot.org and always remember, firearm safety begins with you.